this is Marcus with That Nerd Show doing a review on Morgan. Wow, was this not a great film. And to me, this it it's the surprise hit of this year, kind of like Ex Machiana was last year. Uh, and for us sci-fi fans, you know, uh, that love a good allegorical tale wrapped up in science fiction, th this one was it. Uh, this will probably be the best pick within that category this year. Morgan is basically a Frankenstein tale uh, wrapped up, you know, in, in a modern day setting. It's the cautionary tale of when we play God with science and what can happen and how it can backfire on you. And of course, posing the questions of whether we should do it or not. Um, but, and this doesn't take the same route as Frankenstein, where the creator, you know, completely destroys everything. Um, it does have a, a lot of surprise uh, twist to it, especially to the very end. Uh, and with the whole purpose of this, you know, science experiment. Uh, it's got a great cast with uh, Kate Mara and, you know, uh, Toby Jones. Um, Paul Giamatti uh, pops up. And uh, Brian Cox uh, is in it as well. Um, and the young actress uh, from The Witch uh, that was, uh, that kind of, you know, that has surprised us all about how good, you know, of an actress that she really is. Uh, I really did enjoy this film. I don't think it's a perfect film. Uh, and I don't, and I don't usually think that most science fiction films can be absolutely perfect in the modern age. Um, anybody who knows me, I've argued since the end of time that the original Planet of the Apes movie is the best science fiction movie of all time. Uh, and it definitely has some very similar characteristics, you know, to that in, in posing questions, you know, science versus religion. And, and again, whether we should play God with science and and our when you know humanity's true intent with it, um, and it does take a very skeptical and, and narrow um, uh, view of why humans want to play God with science, and it's usually to build a weapon. But um, the 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 brilliance of this movie is in its exploration of the creation, examining all around her the consequences of of, of her actions, and you know really trying to identify the one key component that separates humanity from, you know, everybody else. And it is the, you know, the connection of love and friendship. Uh, the basics of the story is Kate Mara plays a corporate um, uh, executive that's there to evaluate this uh, secret project and to determine whether uh, the, you know, the, the experiment has to be put down. Uh, one of the things that I found really interest uh, that is interesting about this is you know, from an outside standpoint, they refer to the experiment as an it where all the scientists have grown attached to it and have in the experiment, you know, growing up and adapting, you know, is, is experiencing, again, that, that concept of love and friendship. And the best way to do that is to refer to it as, you know, a her and for it to, you know, her to understand um you know, how it was created, but that even though it may be different, it really isn't that they, they can be treated the same uh, with love and respect and, and, and stuff like that. But then again, you know, uh, like a modern day Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein tale, uh, the shit hits the fan and, um, you know, you, which kind of blows the experiment out of the water. And then, of course, our first response is not to try to understand, but to put the to, to, to put the the kill the experiment and put the thing down um, and uh, hopefully humanely as possible uh, but it doesn't it's not as simple as that when you are dealing with uh, people that grow attached to it um, I like I said I really enjoyed this film um, and again I won't give it a perfect score because I think it asks some really good you know interesting questions Um you know, separate questions and, you know, the basic questions that are that are built into a modern day Frankenstein tale. Uh, but it had but the but the surprise twist at the end uh, makes the film, you know, worth it. And one of the things that I noticed during the screening was when people were walking out, they were arguing about 
at what point during the film did they figure it out, or if they figured it out, at, you know, at all. Um, I would give this film an eight out of ten. Some of my, uh, you know, serious complaints is, uh, you know, the pacing, um, which I've talked about, you know, with films before, and, and how you edit it and, and stuff like that. Um, the, you know, the, the other uh, things that I kind of criticize about this film um, is a lot of the background, uh, you know, memories that, you know, are built into the experiment, which I understand you have to have. And I think that these are probably minor complaints. Um, but again, another reason I don't give it a, a perfect score is the fact that uh, this is still... While there are characteristics that I, you know, that I can compare to Planet of the Apes, and I use that film as a measuring stick for allegory, you know, there is still, there is this very simple tale that we've seen before in movies. You know, we're going to make an experiment, and we're going to build it as a weapon. Does it work? Does it not? If we fail, we put it down, and we start over. Okay. Um, so how many different ways are we going to tell that same kind of story with that same, you know, kind of allegory? Um, you know, Planet of the Apes, the power in the movie really is the argue, you know, the, the, the debate between science and religion and how the gorillas were basically like human beings, you know, during the Renaissance, uh, where the church just absolutely refused to acknowledge any kind of science. And if you said anything against the Bible, you were jailed. Because Planet of the Apes is basically, you know, Galileo arguing before the church. That's where the allegory is. With Morgan, you don't have those serious debates. You just have the basic questions of, should we have done this? Why are we doing this? Okay, and if we fail, we put it down. Where, you know, the experiment, despite being violent and, you know, reacting, you know, it's 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 still trying to adapt and understand in a very short period of time. And they never really debated that the one question that I think they should debate that, you know, the experiment is just, a, all of it is a defensive reaction to people that are trying to harm it. And knowing that the, you know, why Kate Mara's character is there is to, to determine whether she should live or not, you know, and how do you cope with that? Of course, you're, going to, you know, have def a, a def um, your defenses are going to be up and you're going to try to escape and, and try to live. You know, that's basic, that's the basic, you know, uh, nature of any, any kind of animal, human or whatever is the struggle to survive, uh, even without the lack of understanding. I think they could have spent a little bit more time dealing with that question. Um, especially over the dinner scene in the movie, which kind of seemed to linger a little bit. Um, you know, and if it was going to linger, why couldn't you have debated that question instead of talking about all the ex extra uh, extraordinary abilities of the experiment? But, you know, from a storytelling standpoint, those are just kind of my minor uh, criticisms. I don't think it takes away from how good this film really is. And I do think the film is worth seeing in the theater. It's got great action scenes. Uh, the young actress um, who, who does play the experiment is fantastic. It reminded me a lot of that about that movie, uh, you know, Hannah. Um, you know, you, there's no shaky cam footage like from a Jason Bourne movie that's, you know, going to make you sick. It is, it's very well done in a lot of ways. And it's a movie that I think most science fiction um, and nerd fans and nerds will watch again. And I think that it's worth watching to compare this kind of, you know, the the, the story in, in this movie and compare it to, you know, the story and the themes in Ex Machiana, um, which is, you know, very similar. So, at the end of the day, Morgan is worth seeing again. It is definitely nerd approved, uh, but I only give it an 8 out of 10. Um, however, it is worth spending uh, spending money on on the movie, you know, to go for the movie theater. So it's, it's worth a $15 movie ticket. I will say that. So nerds, this movie's worth going to see. It's an eight out of 10 at that nerd show.